Okay. YouTube moving slash wedding synchronization for the my who am I wedding hypothetical. So this is, a, I'm going to talk through the YouTube videos and a synchronized moving and wedding approach for a four day, three night moving scenario of me moving out of my parents' house and, and in with my soulmates and or soulmate, uh, with my wedding to my soulmate, soulmate's time coincident with my moving. Um, we have deemed that me making my exercise sessions and theme day of the week videos are non-essential in order to keep up with moving the wedding and YouTubing the best we can same day. Okay. Um, so I talked to my dad briefly about the wedding Saturday morning when I was eating breakfast. And he was like, well, I just want to see the best for you. And I was like, there's only one thing I want to be happy. I want <laughs> to live with my soulmate and or soulmates and get married to them. And I even said, we can hold it in the house here. Um, and I, so I, and I named Dominique Zabosla and Jacob Ingebrigtsen. So he knows the names and he knows the location. Um, and then yesterday, Sunday, um, I printed something out and left, forgot it in the printer and he found it and it was about the potential uh, rehearsal dinner and dessert locations and uh, reception dinner and dessert and cake slicing locations and he brought it to me and like this is yours he brought it back up um and then this morning he brought it up again he was like like what we talked about the, at breakfast the other day you know I just want to be able to talk about it more and you can kind of take the lead and to take the lead he's like I want to have the wedding and move out as soon as possible prioritizing moving out okay so and that was this morning and today this morning is um Sunday December 11 11 December 2023 um, so three consecutive days of him and I interacting about this in multiple days of us explicitly speaking to each other, looking each other in the eyes as we talk, that kind of thing. And him knowing my, my happy, if he wants to see me happy, is me moving out of here and in with my soulmate and or soulmates. <laughs> okay, I've been explicit and I've named names. Dominique Saposla and Jacob Ingebert, that kind of thing. Uh, he seems to be on board with it, so let's, why not today? <laughs> you know? Um, and so th that's the introduction. And, and I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi, and this is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi, and I currently live in the city of Shoreline, King County, Washington State, United States of America, Planet Earth, the original. So this is uh, applicable if this does come to be. I don't know what's going on with my life. I heard a lot, and I always, I guess there's, the purpose of life is love, right? To get one's loved one and maybe that's just like maybe the purpose of life is changing right and maybe I don't get my loved one or loved ones right um which is like why was I put on this planet then so people can abuse me copycat me without my consent rape me right that all happens and has not stopped um, it's not really a place worth living if I don't have my soulmate and or soulmates, right? So, I don't know. Am I going to get a job and move out and have to go through all of this over again? Um, and coming up with a dream wedding location. If something like that happens, I really don't want my parents in my life, right? They didn't help. Um, and I just want out and to be a happy so, I don't know how this is going to go, or do I get a job and still live here and then they come in with me, or can we just make this an actual reality as soon as possible and stop torturing me, Candace Coyley, they already. Okay, so these are the videos. Day one, so this would be like they arrive, this is, could even be they arrive and I, my dad gets up like an hour before I get up, you know, I arrive and I go down the stairs and there's like five of my friends are already here. Um, and talking to my dad, possibly my mom and Kona dog, if they're up. If not, they're not up. Um, and, you know, I enter the room and be like, so many handsome individuals in the house this morning. Individuals because we've got to take into account mom and Kona dog, right? It's not all handsome people. It's not all handsome men. <laughs> my mom is a woman <laughs> and Kona dog is a guy. Um, be like, uh, nice to have my friends here. Okay? Nice to have some of my friends here this morning. And then we kind of talk about the day. Um, it could, they could come later in the day too, right? Um, 
uh, they might arrive at 9 p.m. In which case, I'm bringing this up because the, the, the videos might be filmed or broken up um, and try and get one or two of the videos out if it's later in the day. Um, if it's early in the day like that, then try and get all the videos out. Um, but if it's later in the day, film as many as we can and publish, try to get at least one published, um, and, but then maybe break it up between day one and day two. So a proposal video, the Dominique, <laughs> the Dominique, sorry, the Sabosli dozen video, uh, new sweet and savory East video fund edition, the Jacob fund video, uh, bins one last time at my parents' house video, official moving announcement video, uh, which would include information about where I'm moving to <laughs> and how I'm moving there, that kind of stuff, <laughs> and what's going to happen to the YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, so, um, in the videos and that kind of stuff. Uh, a bit about my who and our love story. So that's the my who and my wedding. I don't know, that a video on that. Wedding itinerary and logistics video. Official engagement announcement video. Day two. The Inga Britson Dozen video. Uh, rehearsal marriage slash wedding ceremony video. Rehearsal dis dinner and dessert video. Day three. Yes. Uh, the Sheeran Dozen video. Uh, marriage slash wedding, wedding ceremony video, reception dinner and dessert video, slicing of the wedding cake video. Day four, breakfast the morning after video, on an airplane heading to new home video. And then the rest are, I, I'm i putting an asterisk and double question mark by in their time slots because it depends it's a, it's a domino chain, right? Um, depending on when I arrive at the new home, possibly day four, arrival at new home video. But if I arrive the next day, because there's a, if especially if I move to Scotland, if we move, move to Scotland and we move to Scotland or they're already living there and I'm moving there, um, right, there's a time change. So depending on how long it takes to get to wherever I'm moving um, and what time zone that is, it might, the videos will switch to that time zone. Um, so yeah, so it should still be consecutive days, but we'll see <laughs> um, if I'm still uploading and that kind of stuff. So arrival at new home video, day five, arrival at new home video. So this case I arrived the next day, uh, initial wedding reflection video. So not losing that window of opportunity, um, doing something like a, how was the wedding? Even if it's only like a really brief, a few minute video, right? And just being like, how did we think it went? <laughs> kind of thing. Um, day six. Initial wedding reflection video. So if it doesn't happen that day, then this day. Wedding finances video. Uh, day seven, wedding finances video. So that one, it, it should be pretty straightforward if we're just counting food. <laughs> um, or and maybe paper plates and, or if we don't, if we run out or something like that. Yeah, food and supplies, I'm, I'm guessing it might be pretty easy, so. Um, Consecutive days posting video, if applicable. So if I'm still doing cons like at least one video a day, then do a kind of the awards and honor video on that. Uh, where the bins have come to rest video. Day eight, consecutive days posting video, if applicable. Uh, where the bins have come to rest video. Um, and if that was posted the day before, then it'd be the day one of my hypothetical six year hiatus and uploading slash publishing new videos. So, um, either start that day eight or day nine, uh, day one of my hypothetical six year hiatus in uploading slash publishing new videos. But uh, it's okay. So those are the videos. Conclusion, um, anything else to say? I suppose if anything were to change um, from like as I've written it in the further video description, the consecutive days I've done joined with number of subscribers. So that one might be in talking through this that kind of came to mind with like maybe I should do consecutive days and number of subscribers, but we'll see. Um, I guess the on reaching a number for the first time. It, Number of subscribers isn't really a focus for my channel. <laughs> I don't have a lot of subscribers. If I had like 1.1 billion subscribers, I might like kind of be like, well, how do I want to take that into account? Right. But having subscribers also doesn't equate to views. <laughs> so, um, uh, or does not necessarily, it can, but it does not necessarily relate to number of views. So it's kind of a, it's not something that I necessarily put at the front front or center of my business model for this YouTube channel, um, especially since it's about kind of just documenting my life. So something in addition to a number, that number would have to mean something. <laughs> um, 
and I would go so far as to say into in, my physical life as well for that to change significantly um yeah but it wouldn't be um I'm not the kind of person where if I don't have a certain number of subscribers or a certain number of, view, of views I wouldn't come back um that because that's the, that's the the benefit or the good thing about my approach and not putting that in the center is I'm not um stubborn like that I am stubborn in other ways but not in the I have to have a certain number of subscribers or I have to have a certain number of views or or not reviews views or I'm not going to do this kind of thing no I'm I, I just need I want to enjoy my life with my soulmate and or soulmates which I have not been able to do and I'm approximately 31 years of age a bunch of people are privileged and have that even just even if it's just living with them or having had a boyfriend I haven't even had a boyfriend I had one guy approach me when I was walking in South Africa when I lived there in the first half of 2012 and um he was very like forceful and kind of stuff and so uh, my friends and I helped me get away because he was like, well, let's go on a date. And I was like, I don't want to go on a date. So, uh, but, um, and I think he's like, well, we're boyfriend, girlfriend. And I was like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I didn't agree to the first thing. It was like co coercion. Um, but that's the closest I've been. Right. And I don't, I haven't, I haven't actually been on a date where like the person and I call it a date. I haven't ever been on a date and I haven't ever had a boyfriend. So, um. Some people are privileged. I'm not in the personal life arena, um, and I want to enjoy my life. So, yeah, I'm taking a break, too, so I can get my life back up and running, um, especially if it goes this way and figuring out life together with my soulmates um, or their soulmates. Keeping up with LinkedIn, keeping up with Yelp. Not that I want to ever take a break on those, but not at the same time. Um, you guys got to be able to find me somehow, you know? All right, so happy... YouTube attempting synchronization and come on mom and dad come on Kona help me help me get in, out of here and in with my soulmate and or soulmates you guys have always said you want to see me happy I've named <laughs> I've said what it is I've said that since 2020 when I moved in here maybe the names have changed but dad brought it up this time again t this morning after Saturday and after the printed stuff um yesterday Sunday so I would say Dominique Sabosla is from that perspective the only multiple times that my dad's initiating, right? So there's clearly a click there. So let's get the ball rolling. I said a Christmas wedding. By, for what did I want for Christmas? A Hungarian wedding. <laughs> a ho ho Hungarian home wedding. So my mom knows and Danette knows I want it, the wedding to be here as well. I've said that. Um, so And dad is in the loop verbally as well now. So multiple times this has brought, been brought up. So I'm, I'm hoping that means good things. <laughs> And maybe dad watches my YouTube videos and, and knows what all I'm talking about. Though it'd be good to, once the people arrive to help me move, and then there's like more people arriving in airport runs and stuff like that. Um, if, yeah. Um, we can we not surprise them every step of the way, right? Keep them in the loop, tell them what's going on, tell them what our schedule is, print out <laughs> the stuff, you know, and just let them know. So we talk to him and he doesn't feel left out and mom doesn't feel left out and kind of doesn't feel left out. Anyway, happy Monday uh, as of when I'm filming this and I'm Tennis Corley Leonardi and this is my YouTube channel Tennis Leonardi. Happy day and time of viewing whenever you're viewing this and happy place of viewing this wherever you're viewing this from.